just got done mowing this new food plot that's going to be right here. It's looking sweet. We just got done tilling this next new food plot. It is a really cool location. I'm, I'm betting we kill a nice trophy doe right in this location up here. Let's go take a look. It is hot here in West Central Minnesota. I'm in the stand that's going to be in this kill plot here that we that we just tilled up. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. We are going to do some clearing from this spot, and I think set up the stand just slightly different, just to be more comfortable and be in a position we don't have to move much to uh, take a shot or anything. But we've got a lot of back cover. We're not super high off the ground, but in front of the plot here, it's like kind of a drop of a hill. So where we're sitting, we're actually quite a ways up above the plot. I think if we keep as much cover here as we can in front of us and just have some nice little pockets for shooting, I think we'll be sitting okay. All right, here we go. So we've got this little little boomerang little plot here goes up into the old ETV trail then wraps around this point and goes right into a little transition area where they bed out in the river oxbow. We've got a screen plot planted with Egyptian wheat right there. That's going to help block viewing from the road from any other deer travel that's up this direction and it's going to also allow us to exit out of here in the evening as well or in the morning we can dip up to the egg field up on top but morning time we'll probably sneak in right down here behind the cover into the stand out through the egg after the hunt and then kind of the reverse order in the evening evening we'll come in through the corn here, drop into the stand, not spook anything bedded that direction, and then we'll slip out after darkness out that way to the road, which is only a couple hundred yards away. And that's gonna help just reduce the travel of where they're gonna be at the different times of day. This is gonna be a sweet little plot all along the edge is plum trees, and they're loaded with plums right now so this is going to be a killer killer little spot and they're going to consistently kind of move through here We're 
in the food plot here. I was just standing, or I was in the beer stand just here on the edge of the food plot this morning. I had two fawns coming to the plot from the road here. And they fed through, came and stood right at 12 yards from me. And then I had the doe come in. And she kind of circled the whole perimeter of the plot. Let the fawns disappear and then she kind of came through. And then she took off from here in the arrow. Kind of weird, it's like just resting there. I've never seen that. And that's soaked in blood. I think we got a dead deer. We'll see though. We got blood splatter everywhere. That's good. This is where she turned in really hard. She circled right here. You see blood anywhere? Is that blood? Here we go. Here. That blood right there? Yeah. I feel like this is its tail. I just whip myself in the face. You want me to just keep videoing all this? No, uh, you can stop for a minute. But... There's a big chunk. Yeah. Right there. Nice. I see a pinch, but it's all the way over here. Oh, that's blood. No, that's blood way up there. This is? Look at all this. <laughs> oh, is that a good strand off the of nose? Yes! Yes! Oh my god! 
Such a relief after such a hard and tough year. Uh, Halloween dough. Halloween trophy dough. Oh yeah, I think it's dead right away. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Oh, there's so much relief right now. I have been tossed around this year in a lot of ways and this is the turning point this is meat so let's drag her out <laughs> all right we are in Nini's plot we're gonna call it that's what we call my wife Nini and this is her sculpture and we just created this plot over this this past spring into summer and had an idea for making this a nice morning spot for does and uh we got it all to come together here and it's come full circle from starting the design in december to here on halloween we've got meat on the table so this morning we came in to the stand here that's just behind me overlooking this food plot we had a really strong northwest wind this morning howling cold and uh luckily we had uh several deer come in this morning at like basically 10 minutes into shooting it was pretty really really early so we had two fawns work into the food plot here and mingled around and they kind of went about their way down the trail and then the big mama came in she skirted the plot kind of on the outskirts here kind of nibbling on trees and, and brassicas and then how we have the plot designed is this little dog leg so they come down into here and then they have to kind of wrap around this corner before they go off to the other food plots and the big fields so she came right around this corner, hugged the tree line, and she just stopped right side there at about 18 yards. And it's been a long season already with many mishaps with archery equipment. And uh, luckily it came together. <laughs> 